I'm done. I've been in line for two hours. She wants to sit back there and take pictures of my trailer. I'm done. Hey there, hi there, ho oh there. Oh, one minute, I'll be right back with you. There, that is better. Just because I've been sitting in the same place for ever, since the last time I talked to you last night, doesn't mean I have to wear the same clothes. That's right, guys, we're still here. We're still in the lovely food world. You know, and realistically, it worked out pretty nice. You know, I got here in the middle of the night, of course, and so I needed to take a 10 hour break. Because remember, Mr. Government Man tells me I have to take a 10 hour break. Well guys, I think it's time to disinfect the truck. I haven't done that yet today. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We're disinfect the truck up. Uh, work on the logbook a little bit, make it look pretty. Yes, the truck is running. It's 86 degrees though, and I like my air conditioner. Thanks to the lovely ladies on Facebook. See, I'm using these, and they're 99.99% of germs they kill, but I'm almost out. But the ladies on Facebook, they have sent me all kinds of home remedies, how to make Clorox wipes, um, some other kind of wipe. I can't remember what it was. It's supposed to be less potent on your skin. But uh, they've sent me all kinds of links and instructions of how to make wipes. So that's what we're going to be doing when we get home this time. I mean, last last weekend when we were home, I made hand sanitizer. I got to tell you guys, whew, I'm a scientist. That hand sanitizer I made, eh, kind of burns a little bit more than the other stuff. But I figure it just means it works better. So we're making our own hand sanitizer now. We're going to make our own wipes. Maybe I'm being too paranoid right now, so I'm crazy, you know, disinfecting my whole truck. The problem with the disinfecting it, it takes the armor all off, I think. So once I get done disinfecting it, then I gotta put the armor all back on it. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like it. When you get done with it, just throw a like down there. I appreciate it, I really do. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, follow me along. Like I said last night, we are going places and I think we're getting better. Um, and Facebook, you know, I got uh, my own little Facebook group. I had to. I, had, I used to have a Facebook page, and I still do have a Facebook page for this vlog. But Facebook was yelling at me, telling me that I was using it for clickbait. My videos are clickbait. You, you have to click on them. You have to watch them. So I decided to start a uh, closed group for trucking with Schmidt vlogs. I'll put it right there. And uh, they haven't bothered me. Facebook hasn't bothered me about nothing but clickbait. All right. Well, I'm going to go wander around the truck, see the scenery in the truck. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. You're still there. You're staring at my bald head. That cannot be pleasant, staring at my bald head. Yes, I'm doing more disinfecting. I'm not really disinfecting at this point, I'm cleaning. Alright, you guys gotta go, please. I feel uncomfortable with you staring at my head. Bye. Bye. I'm, I'm just gonna block you off now. The light has turned green. We have been released. Now usually, when I get out to the guard shack, I have to get out of the truck, walk beside them, and open my doors up for they can see what's going on in there to make sure the trailer's empty. So as a precautionary, I'm gonna open my door up this time for they can look in there, see the trailer's empty, give me the thumbs up and I'll drive away from them about 200 feet, then close my door. That way, I'm practicing my social distancing. I was just telling myself I need a couple more load box. Ah! 
I know guys, I still haven't put the load lock holder on the back of my sleeper. It's on my to-do list. And it's finally getting warm enough, I think, back home to where I can start doing some of my to-do list. I hate this whole virus thing going around. I'm touching these load locks when they were inside that building. And now I'm paranoid about touching load locks. Well, hello, my loyal YouTube subscribers. Since the last time we talked, it doesn't, you know, to you guys, it's a flash. You know, I was bungee cording those load locks down and the whole works. It's been an hour and a half since we talked last. I'm going to flip you around and show you why it's been an hour and a half. crazy. The amount of trucks that are out here on the road is insane. I mean, you have you have flatbedders, you have tanker gankers, you have, you know, hopper bottom guys. I mean, all those guys are jumping over onto the uh, dry van and reefer wagon right now and pulling them. And you can tell, you can tell when a driver hasn't doesn't have an interstate truck or hasn't been out here for a while. And not in a bad way. I'm not insulting you, but you can just tell. And they're doing it for a good reason. The reason it's taking so long is because they're starting new guidelines on checking out of this place. You know, usually you just pulled up, got out of your truck, went back right beside the person checking you out, opened the door up, signed a piece of paper, you know, all kinds of hands, you know, all kinds of hands contact and, uh, less than six foot from another person so they're trying something new that they just started today like anything new they got to get used to it it'll be smoother as time goes how long you been waiting Kurt? about two hours dang that's freaking ridiculous open your door it's open no your side pocket my what Never mind, you gotta be in there. Just open this door so I can see to the other side. They're making us do this, man. It's crazy as hell. I don't know why. I don't know what they're getting out of it, but hey. I haven't touched anything with this glove yet, so I can still use it. I got it on just in case they hand me paperwork. Small rant. Does it make anyone else mad? that I get to feel like the village idiot wearing this thing on my face and wearing a glove. The only reason I get to feel like a, a village idiot is because people cannot follow simple rules. And they're not even rules. Simple People cannot follow simple guidelines. The security down here. I've been in line for two hours. They see probably 50 trucks behind me. No rubber gloves. No masks. Last time I checked, North Carolina, you guys are doing pretty rough with the infected. That's it. No more rant.
I'm done. I've been in line for two hours. She wants to sit back there and take pictures of my trailer. I'm done. Yeah, for, sorry. Have a nice day, lady. I'm done. You guys can come chase me if you want me. You can come chase me. What are they going to do? Not pay me? Sorry, I already have the paperwork in hand. Done. I've never been to more of a place more unorganized in my life. We're gonna pull over again right here. I'm gonna go back there, shut that door. I'm gonna make a phone call. Schmidt doesn't do anything for free. I just sat this place for seven hours, sat in a line for two hours to get out. That's gonna cost somebody about a grand. And it's not gonna be me. Tell you what guys, this feels good. But you know, I was stuck in that concrete canyon too long. Got out, nice little rest area, getting out walking around in this green soft grass. This is where you gotta take advantage of coming to North Carolina or coming to where it's warm. Almost all year round. I mean trees, green, look at that. It's getting closer at home, I know it is, but I'm still going to suck this in as much as I can. But yeah, nice quiet rest area, green trees, green grass. They don't really have dirt down here, it's sand, but it doesn't really matter. It grows grass, that's all I care. Might run into some rain today. I don't care. We're all good. I was a little moody there for a second. I'm sorry. I had to drive away. I was going to say things to that young woman that would not have been polite for her just doing her job other than not wearing the proper equipment. I know. But I said, screw it. I drove off. I got my paperwork in hand. I get paid by that paperwork, not by them checking out my trailer. It was a temper tantrum. Won't happen again. And I thought about editing it out of the video. But I wanted you guys to see that it's kind of hard to stay calm out here right now. Things are changing in us truck drivers. We like to change the scenery, but we don't like to change in habits, I guess. Okay guys, we need to have a serious, serious conversation here. How am I supposed to film, record quality stuff if you guys are refusing to keep your glasses clean. Just take them off, clean them up. I guess. I'll get up there, clean them up again for you. This is one more time. Wait, before you go, I have a joke for you. Why does a professional golfer 
have two pairs of jeans with him when he's golfing. Still wonder? It's for if he gets a hole in one. Jeez. I guess I'm gonna go clean your glasses now. guys we have reached our uh, reload they sound pretty nice you gotta say this right here is a definition you guys can't see me but I can still see you here let's just turn this way this right here is a true definition of how a day can change earlier when I was you know in Tar Hill it was a mixture of having to set and wait and a mixture of everything building up right now. I don't know if it's just extra stress or what it is. That was a complete overreaction. I should have I should have never drove off. I should have never gotten mad. Because look at this. I mean you guys should see this place. We're gonna go walk around. I just gotta flip you around for you can eh. Let's see here. Yeah, I gotta flip you around for you can see me. Holy Toledo. I really gotta get a light for this phone. I keep forgetting how bright this camera, this phone camera flash is. It's super bright. This place is nice. We are, we're secluded. I mean, there's, this road right here is getting used by a few trucks and a few cars, but other than that, you would have never guessed 250 miles ago that I was in craziness, crazy town, you know? <laughs> this is perfect. This is what I want to be at right now. It's humid. It's sticky. I probably would idle the truck, but I almost pulled a rookie mistake, guys. <laughs> My truck is tanked on E. I mean, we're not talking just normal E, we're talking buried under E. I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't, uh, wasn't paying attention. I got off the interstate here to come here. Cronova? Yeah, I think it's Cronova. Yeah, pretty sure it's Cronova, North Carolina. Got off the interstate to come here and Looked down at my fuel gauge and oh boy. I guess that's why they have idiot lights. Well, my truck doesn't have an idiot light, but I'm kind of an idiot, so I probably needed an idiot light. That's all right though. It's not loud. There's no shag trucks running around. It's just me and I'm waiting for a guy to come load me. Uh, he was, he's at another plant right now and he said it'd be a little bit, but I'm good because the sign on their door says they closed at 3 p.m. And he said he'd still load me because my paper said I'd get loaded 24 hours. So I'm glad. I'm happy he's going to do that. To tell you what we're getting loaded with is I don't know. I know it's going to Lamar's, Iowa. My paperwork doesn't say what it is. It just says how much it weighs. It's 22,000 pounds. And where it's going in Lamar's is a very light place going in so I'm gonna say it's either pails cardboard for their packaging or plastic wrap for their ice cream containers because if it's going to Lamar's whenever I say it's going to Lamar's 90% of the time it's going to Wells Dairy 
All right, guys, I'm going to jump in the truck, see if I can find a truck stop somewhere around here. That way it's all set up and ready to go for when I get loaded, we can go get some more fuel and get to going down the road. Well, guys, we're loaded up. This place is good. That guy was really nice. Talked to me like a human being. I talked to him like a human being. Of course, six feet apart. All right, I did find a truck stop about 47 miles from us I think it has 47 miles worth of fuel in the truck let's hope it does or that's gonna be a very expensive mistake all right I'll talk to you guys hopefully in a little bit while we're getting fuel